The Lord established for him a covenant of peace and made him the prince that he might have the dignity of the priesthood forever. Good morning. Welcome to this Eucharist. Welcome also to you who are uh, participating online. Uh, today, the 10th of November, is the feast of St. Leo the Great. This is what the Church of England says of St. Leo. Leo the Great became Pope in the year 440 and twice proved his bravery in saving the citizens of Rome from the invading barbarians. He was an eloquent and wise preacher using simple gospel texts to proclaim the Christian faith. His administrative skills were unrivaled and he used the resources of the church for the good of the people. Rather than further confusing Christians by entering into the controversy over the person of Christ, Leo spoke simply of the humility of Christ, who was divine and human in his compassion, uniting biblical images in prayer rather than dividing in debate. Leo died on this day in the year 461. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never allow the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, Grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Book of Wisdom. Listen, kings, and understand. Rulers of remotest lands take warning. Hear this, you, have, you, you who have thousands under your rule, who boast of your hordes of subjects. For power is a gift to you from the Lord. Sovereignty is from the Most High. He himself will probe your acts and scrutinize your intentions. If, as administrators of his kingdom, you have not governed justly, nor observed the law, nor behaved as God would have you behave, he will fall on you swiftly and terribly. Ruthless judgment is reserved for the high and mighty. The lowly will be compassionately pardoned. The mighty will be mightily punished. For the Lord of all does not cower before a personage. He does not stand in awe of greatness since he himself has made small and great and provides for all alike. But strict scrutiny awaits those in power. Yes, despots, my words are for you, that you may learn what wisdom is and not transgress. For they who observe holy things holily will be adjust, uh, judged holy, and accepting instructions from them will find no defense in them. 
Look forward, therefore, to my words. Yearn for them, and they will instruct you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, O God, judge the earth. Arise, Arise, O O God, God, to judge judge the the earth. Do justice for the weak and the orphan. Defend the afflicted and the needy. Rescue the weak and the poor. Set them free from the hand of the wicked. Arise, Arise, O God, God, to judge judge the the earth. earth. I have said to you, you are gods, and all of you sons of the Most High. And yet you shall die like men. You shall fall like any of the princes. Arise, Arise O God, God, to judge, judge the, earth. the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Through the good news, God called us to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus travelled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, ten lepers came to meet him. They stood some way off and called to him, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Now as they were going away, they were cleansed. Finding himself cured, one of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, and threw himself at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. This made Jesus say, Were not all ten made clean? The other nine, where are they? It seemed that no one has come to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, Stand up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray then for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Let us pray for the church, giving thanks for the life and witness and the work of St. Leo. Let us thank God especially for his diplomatic skills and for his pastoral touch with invading forces. Let us pray for Francis, the current Bishop of Rome, and for those who advise him. Let us pray for our own church. In particular, let us pray for the strategists in the church who seek ways not only to arrest the decline in church attendance, but to promote Christian faith throughout the nation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world in which we live. Let us pray for God's forgiveness in the rather poor way we have been stewards of the fruits of the earth. Let us pray for those who meet in Glasgow, that not only coming to a common mind, they may also willingly and perhaps sacrificially agree to be wise in the way they use the resources of the earth. And we pray for those affected parts of the world that have seen serious climatic changes. Let us pray for God's guidance as to how we and our politicians and politicians worldwide should respond. Lord, in your mercy. 
And we pray for those who are sick. We pray for Anne and for Claire, for Dennis, Finley, Julie and Jill, for Tony, Anne, Marjorie, David and Jane. For Julia, Hannah, Terence and Dorothy. For Mike, Liz, Joanne, Tim and Cecily. Let us pray also for those who have issues of mental health. Let us pray that their needs will be met appropriately. Let us pray for those who mourn that they will receive the support they need. Let us pray for their health and their healing and for their salvation. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for those who have died Amongst those who've died recently, we pray for Adrian Speed and Dennis Essex. We pray also uh, for the founders of this church who have now died, for our forebears, and for those who introduced us to the Christian faith. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Let us complete our prayers by greeting the Blessed Virgin as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. As far as you are allowed, would you greet each other with a sign of peace? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church, so that your flock may everywhere prosper, and that under your governance the shepherds may become pleasing to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Leo, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting as worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Mary, ever Virgin and Mother of God, Saint John the Evangelist, Saint Leo the Great, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. I believe, Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is indeed thy sacred body, and indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive me my voluntary and involuntary sins, committed in word and deed, in knowledge or ignorance and grant that I may partake uncondemned of thy sacred mysteries, for the remission of sins, and for life everlasting. Amen. At thy mystical supper, Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor give thee a kiss like Judas, but like the thief I confess thee. Remember me, Lord, in thy kingdom.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that, firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and to remain with you always. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. <clears throat>